Hello Simmers, Skyflyer here. I've been playing with Bush Talk Radio for the last several days since my last video reviewing the software. Now I'd like to do another video describing the process for adding new points of interest to Bush Talk Radio database. I'll assume for this video that you have configured Bush Talk Radio to work with Microsoft Flight Simulator and know how to find points of interest at bushtalkradio.com and fly to them within the simulator. And once registered, it's simple, if it's not easy, to add points of interest to the application. Just follow the step that we'll follow in this video. The first thing that you want to do is use your browser to go to bushtalkradio.com and log in with your username and password like this. Now you should see a circle with a plus symbol in the lower right of the browser window. Hover over the plus to open a menu and then click on the top button that looks like a balloon with a plus symbol on it. And this will open a dialog box where you can add a location to the system. You need to have several bits of data to complete your submission. First, you need a name that identifies the location. I'll add a point of interest for the USS Lexington in Corpus Christi, Texas. I'll take information from the Wikipedia page for the USS Lexington CV-16. Some Wikipedia pages can be imported automatically by copying the URL and pasting it into the submission page like this. In this case, it doesn't work, so I'll have to enter the information uh, by myself. After the name, we need a category. And for the category, I'll select history. Since the Lexington is so connected to history building might be another choice that would be correct for this. I'm not sure. Some of the other categories that you can choose are landforms, bodies of water, natural, uh, nature and wildlife, buildings, towns and cities, and other in case it, something doesn't fit in any one of the other uh, location, uh, other categories. Next, we need to give the location coordinates in latitude and longitude. And sometimes this information is included in a Wikipedia article. Other times you have to do a little more research to identify the coordinates. Not every coordinate format is supported, so you may have to experiment to find one that works. In this case, I'll include the coordinates from the Wikipedia page in the decimal format. Copy the decimal coordinates and paste them into the coordinate field. The autoplay distance specifies how close you have to fly to the coordinates in order to have the audio for the site play automatically. The choices that you have are one kilometer, two kilometers, five kilometers, and 10 kilometers. 
choice you make mainly depends on the density of sites in an area. You should try to choose a distance that does not overlap the autoplay radius of nearby sites, but the largest distance should be reserved for large regions that likely won't have other sites uh, defined nearby. Since the Lexington is situated in an urban area where other sites may be defined, I'll select one kilometer for it. Two kilometers might not be a bad choice for uh, this particular site either. Next, you want to enter a description. Well, I'll wait to enter the description a little bit later. The description is uh, sometime will be the first paragraph of your script. And uh, since we haven't entered that yet, I'm, I'm going to come back to this point later in the, in the uh, demonstration. Next, we want to enter data for the audio tour. tour. And there are two fields to complete uh, in this area. The first field is for a title. This can be the same uh, as the name you gave at the top of the dialog box or something more descriptive. In this case, I'll give it the title, the USS Lexington CV-16, which is the uh, Wikipedia article title. The next field is for the audio script. And because this text will be converted to speech using a text-to-speech engine, it's important to edit the text so that the spoken version sounds as natural as possible. Some tips that are found in the submission guidelines within the text field will help with that, uh, with that editing process. For example, the submission guidelines uh, specify that the audio tours should be in English with proper punctuation, should use commas sparingly as a generator tends to over-exaggerate the pauses. Uh, it goes on to say, proofread your script before submitting, especially Wikipedia imports as they tend to contain bad punctuation, repetitive statements, overly technical language. should also point out that if you just do a copy and paste, you'll get the footnote references as well, and that those need to be removed. Ensure that coordinates are placed correctly and centered so that our in-game points of interest will appear correctly. Volcanoes should be centered and river markers should be over water, for example. Select an appropriate autoplay distance to make sure it doesn't clash with other landmarks and only use the 10 kilometers for exceptionally large landmarks such as mountains and large lakes. Submit tangible landmarks rather than regions. Avoid states, countries, and counties. And if you spot uh, bad audio, they ask you to uh, submit feedback for that so that that can be fixed. It says avoid secondary information inside brackets, especially translations, acronyms, or unit conversions, as these tend to break up the flow uh, of the audio. And it gives an example down here of how not to submit uh, a paragraph and how to submit a paragraph. I've already copied text from the Wikipedia page and edited it for Bush Talk Radio, but I want to know how it sounds before I submit it uh, to the database. For that, I'll use a text-to-speech engine called Amazon po Poly. Amazon Poly is a free service available from Amazon. If you want to know more about it, then do a Google search on Amazon Poly and you should be able to find, uh, find out about it and uh, uh, register to use it if that's your desire. In Amazon Poly, I simply paste the text of the script into the plain text field and then listen to the speech. I've already pasted the text here, and here is the text for, for the site that I'm entering. So let's listen to at least part of it. USS Lexington, 
nicknamed the Blue Ghost, is an Essex-class aircraft carrier built during World War II for the United States Navy. Originally intended to be named Cabot, word arrived during construction that the previous USS Lexington had been lost in the Battle of the Coral Sea. The new aircraft carrier was renamed while under construction to commemorate the earlier ship. She was the fifth U.S. Navy ship to bear the name in honor of the Revolutionary War Battle of Lexington. And I'll go through this uh, myself and, and make edits as necessary until it sounds just right. I'll go through that repeatedly over and over until the host, host script is correct. And then I'll copy the edited text and paste that into the script field. I'll pause the video at this point so I can complete some of those edits and uh, then come back uh, and finish the video. All right, now that I've finished editing the text in Amazon Polly, I'll select all the text with Control A and then use Control C to copy it. Go over to Bush Talk Radio into the script uh, dialog, uh, script uh, field, and press Control V to copy the text into uh, the uh, dialog field. Now, the last thing I want to do is just go over the uh, dialog box and make sure that I that I have everything. And I see one thing that's still missing, and that's the description. And for the description. Uh, I'll copy part of the first paragraph. And let's see, we'll take out the nickname. and see what that looks like. The USS Lexington is an Essex-class aircraft carrier built during World War II for the United States Navy, originally intended to be named Cabot, where it arrived during construction, that the previous USS Lexington had been lost. And so I need a little bit more. Hmm. In the Battle of the Coral Sea, I've run up against the limit, 250 characters, so we need to go back uh, and uh, handle that. Let's just make it shorter for easy sake. Let's see. There we go. We've got uh, our title. We've got our script. We have our, I think I'll change this to two kilometers. We have our coordinates and everything. So this should be all that we need. Now we just click save. Now we have our USS Lexington available within the uh, Bush Talk radio. You can see now that uh, automatically a uh, the nearest airport was found where someone can uh, spawn and then Follow a course of 206 degrees for five nautical miles to find the Lexington here in Corpus Christi. That's all there is to creating a new point of interest in the USS in the, <laughs> the Bush Talk Radio. Uh, it's not difficult to do. The most difficult part is coming up with the text for. Uh, the audio script. 
some of that, much of that you can find within Wikipedia pages, but you do need to be careful to edit the Wikipedia so that uh, the audio sounds right uh, to the listener. Thanks for listening. Come back again soon uh, for more videos about Microsoft Flight Simulator.